Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from ThinSuite. In this video, we learn how to customize Webflow rich text with Sweet Text. Sweet Text allows you to create alternate styles inside the rich text element. This is super powerful and this is the primary reason that we created Sweet Text for you. Sweet Text is going to give you the power to add an additional set of styles to the elements in rich text. This example is going to go over our default rich text block, the custom classes we set up, and then combining the two together to create a rich text block with our custom stylings. So we have our custom stylings in line with the base stylings, we have them taking up lists, we have them as big giant quotes, we have different callouts, and my favorite, a big call to action button. Let's go into Designer and see how this works. First, let's go over the default rich text block. This is how we would set up any normal rich text. We have our H2, our H3, our P, list, quote, bold, and link. Nothing special here. And when we style these items in Webflow, if I were to go in here, and style my H2, it would give me that style option and I'd have that one style option for this rich text block. Maybe I want another H2, maybe I want another P, maybe I want another list item, maybe I want another link. That's not possible by default with the rich text block. With Sweet Text, we are going to go and create our classes, give styles to them, and then combine them. Let's first go to the custom classes here. We have an alternate H2. Maybe we wanna use this for big callouts or very specific use cases. We can go and apply different stylings for this H2. Then different for H3. We have an alternate with a red option. We can make a green option. We have big giant text with a background. We have giant text with a background and margin left and more margin left. These are going to be used to create nested or indented bullet lists. We have a big giant quote. Maybe we want to have a big giant call out. It's a small quote, really important. We can go ahead and do that. We have call outs. Maybe we want to send a message that says, hey, check this, make sure you check this out or make sure you don't do this. You can go ahead and create these call outs on your own with the styles and then go and integrate them into that rich text block. And then our call to action button, really simple. We have a background color, we have color, we have weight, and we have some padding. Excellent. Now let's go down and see how to integrate these styles. We're using our class names, we are wrapping them inside the content, and then that content will be wrapped with that class. So we have our H2 alt from our H2 alt. We have our H3 alt from our H3 alt. And same with P color green, P color red. So we have our P color red, P color green. We're also working with these lists. This is super cool, different list options, indented list options, let's look at it. We have LI Powerful, LI Powerful tab one, and LI Powerful tab two. Note that this is just below a normal list item without anything. On the live site, that's what this looks like. And let's just, let's check out this while we're here. We have our normal H2, we gave that special class to it. We have our normal H3, then we gave that special class. Normal P, then we gave the special class, and so on. We have the normal unordered list, then we have our styled unordered lists. Each one is tabbed one. Tab two, these are normal. Uh, they are, yes, they are LI powerful without any tab. Then we have our normal quote. We have our quote alt, which makes this big giant ridiculous quote. Then we have our call out bars. Call out alt A, call out alt A. This is just a paragraph, just a paragraph. And there we go, paragraph, paragraph. Then we have our normal link inside the rich text, this is what we would have to set in case there are, let's say, URLs inside of our content, we can't have a big giant blue button inside there. So we have to have a normal rich text link, 
And then we have our big link CTA, which is creating our button. So here we go. This is a much more, hey, go click on me type button. We're creating this with sweet text. If you want to take this a step further and create even more customized styles, you can go ahead and check out our example about applying a class to a parent element. Applying a class to a parent element is going to take this to the next, next level to give you even more crazy control. If you have any questions about how this works, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks. That's effing sweet.